the third item is 147 Main Street. And 147, of course, is the property that abuts 139 Main Street, where we share a common wall or party wall. Uh, the community is well aware of this particular issue. The city having received a 155B uh, authorization to remove and demo the 139 Main Street property because of its uh, deplorable condition and its safety uh, concerns for the traveling public. Unfortunately, because it shares a common wall with the adjacent piece of property, it's not an easy thing to do. We're on private property dealing with this issue, and we have another private property owner next door. We have been negotiating with that additional private property owner, uh, New England Family Housing, in order to uh, get a release because of the condition of the property. When we take down 139 Main, uh, we, there's a very <coughs> good, it will actually happen the common wall will also come down. There's no way for us not to have that happen. So we need a release so that we can get the very best price from the demo demolition company. Of course, that release has been subject to negotiation. We've been negotiating that issue. And we'll be bringing that forward to the council at the next meeting, May 8th, uh, to get your permission to authorize the manager to execute that document. It essentially offers with the council, you know, with the council's um, permission uh, would authorize a 79e application for the properties the 79e application is where we would establish a new value of the property there is the existing value but it hasn't taken into consideration the deplorable condition of the property properties ha taxes haven't been paid in a number of years and so uh, we would establish the true value if you will of the real property and then using that for the next five years plus an additional four which the uh, which the statute allows it'd be an opportunity for the adjacent property owner to recover some of his cost associated with restoring the wall and some of the other work of shoring up uh, his building so that when I, we do the demo work his building doesn't also deteriorate and fall so um, the um, the difference in taxes would be about four thousand dollars a year which would net out it over the course of nine years of thirty six thousand dollars in addition to that, we also talked about a not to exceed, since we have to level the site and actually um, bring it up to grade relative to uh, that work that we're doing. Uh, the city would, off, with the council's permission, would uh, would authorize or would um, agree to a six thousand dollar not to exceed <coughs> going towards the foundation or footings uh, for the for the party wall. And so that's the extent of our agreement. For that, we get the release and we get to take down the property and move forward. Um, the not to exceed aspect of it means that if it comes in less than that, we only pay what the true value of that cost would be. If it exceeds that, we don't pay any more than the $6,000. And it's anyone's guess right now how much it would be. But I think it's a good deal for the city. I think it puts us in a position to move forward. And we'll be bringing that to your attention for a formal approval process on the 8th. Any questions? Thank you. May 8th will be a busy council meeting. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. Uh, the 